What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Star Wars Black Series Deluxe Wrecker figure from the new Bad Batch series as well as the Clone Wars. But first, if you're new then welcome, this channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new content constantly throughout the week, so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified. And I just recently started a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast that will be airing Saturdays at 9am. Go ahead and check that out, episodes 1 and 2 are up now. But if you guys do enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please remember to give them a thumbs up, it really helps the channel grow, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys. It is a very small goal of mine, try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out, so please be my one subscriber for this video. Thank you so much in advance. And if you guys want to support the channel anyway, all I ask is you watch my videos from start to finish. That's it. As always, the information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I will be your host, Jesse the Bat Madrill, aka the Buff Collector. And once again, guys, we are going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Deluxe Figure Wrecker from the Bad Batch and Clone Wars series. So now, when the Bad Batch, Bad Batch, I'm sorry about that, guys, first appeared in the Star Wars universe, it was kind of like a nice little, you know, unique team of clones, uh, all of them with their own set of abilities. Definitely Crosshairs and Hunter were one of my favorites. I'm so glad that we got them first in figure form. I wasn't the biggest Wrecker fan, I had to admit, because they kind of just portrayed him as the typical big guy oaf and whatnot. But through watching the Bad Batch series, I have come to love him as a character, and he really has grown on me, and I am super excited and super happy to finally have him as an action figure. But before we even get into everything else, I just wanted to say thank you so much to my good friend Robert once again for finding me this figure. He came in clutch twice this week, guys, not only once finding the Superman Target exclusive blue and red suit, but also the deluxe wrecker figure right here at our local Target. So thank you so much. Robert, I really do appreciate it. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get on into this review. Like I was saying, I wasn't the biggest Wrecker fan, but through watching the Bad Batch show, I have become a Wrecker fan, and this guy is definitely a really cool figure, and he looks amazing next to the other Bad Batch members that we already have, and which I will show later in this video. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories this guy comes with, because he does come with a few really cool accessories. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and pull him forward forward real quick so that we can go ahead and grab whoops sorry guys his accessories that are just falling out of his hands um so first and foremost you do get his helmet which is really cool the paint deco is actually really nicely done uh for a helmet uh there's not a lot of bleed through the paint lines are very nicely done uh you can see everything nice and clear which is amazing now his helmet does look a bit oversized but uh, it kind of fits because he's such an oversized figure and character that he does naturally just have a big uh, helmet in the TV show. So it kind of works with him somehow. Uh, so next up, he is equipped with, and don't shoot the messenger guys, but I have no idea what kind of blaster this is. All I know is that the commandos uh, originally used this uh, in the Republic Army and... I heard somewhere that Hasbro actually didn't even come up with a new mold for this gun. They literally just gave him a 3.75 inch version and it really shows on Wrecker. Uh, you'll see in some of the images that I took when he's holding it. And I know some of you are going to say, well, he's a larger character. He's supposed to look small and whatnot. But it even looks small in Hunter's hand who, who also comes with the same blaster. So it's not just the Wrecker being a big character. It's just the blaster itself being technically scaled for 3.75 inch and Hasbro just going ahead and repacking it for the 6 inch black series uh, like I said it's a rumor I've heard I'm not entirely sure how true it is uh, but with this figure it definitely uh, does look like that like I said the, it doesn't look too bad on the hunter uh, you do notice that it's not you know the best scale in terms of you know weaponry but it doesn't look as small in his hands as it does when, uh, you know, this big deluxe wrecker's holding it. So next up, he does come also with his big Bowie knife right here with a serrated edge and as well as just the sharp edge right there. So really cool. Uh, it does come with a pretty l decently long uh, handle right there. So you can see with a little nice detailing in the grip. So all in all, just in a very nice hand uh, knife. I do like how they do the silver... Uh, paint for the top of the knife and then more of the dull uh, 
darker gray plastic looking gray for the handle to just at least separate it and uh, a lot of toy companies aren't doing that nowadays uh, so I'm really glad that they are kind of like McFarlane some of their bladed some of his bladed weapons uh, like the battle axe that uh stefan wolf comes with i feel like he should have added just a little more dry brush on the handle just to make it a little more separate from the hilt or i'm sorry the hilt from the actual blade uh but that is neither here nor there we're not talking about stefan wolf today we are here talking about wrecker so the last thing he comes with is of course his removable backpack i'm gonna go ahead and leave it on his back but i will turn him around so that you can take a good look at him now i have seen that the one that hunter and uh crosshairs comes with are not accurate to the show and i've seen how you can fix it and all this stuff so i do not know if this is accurate i've never really paid attention to closely to that or cl that closely to those kinds of details it's just um you know it looks similar enough to me at least so um let me know down in the comments is it accurate to the show or is it like hunter and crosshair where people are gonna have to do some customizations uh so yeah with that being said guys let's go ahead and pull him a little closer forward and get a nice close look at him I absolutely love this head sculpt and I think it has to do with it coming from an animated series and them having the renders already from that that it just translates so well to action figure form as you can see he really just looks like he stepped out of the cartoon uh, much like the NECA TMNT cartoon turtles and uh, movie turtles you know they're so accurate that uh they literally look like they've stepped out of the media that they come from and that is definitely the case with this record figure so turning him to his right you do see the t uh the classic uh whoops that was my fault pushed him forward too much um you do see the classic clone force 99 emblem right there and then the 99 right there looking at his back once again he does have that backpack right here and it does have that nice skull and logo on the back and some nice paint decos to separate some lines and details he does have the skull and 99 on his left sh on his yeah it's his left shoulder as well uh and whoops we're back to his front side guys and so that was a full 360 look of him so let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation he can look all the way to the right all the way to the left you do get really good head tilt side to side right there uh you get movement at the top of the head as well as the bottom neck joint right there so that's nice so whoops well that fell down so as you can see if you notice that this uh piece right here is moving around it is a separate piece from the actual body so it's not actually sculpted on uh so it's nice because it get, allows for a little more range of movement so he can look down that far can't really look up because his head kind of runs into his neck plate right there you saw the head tilt his arms do go out all the way right there as you can see the shoulder pad is attached by a little thing at the very top so you do get 360 rotation of the shoulder but if you do it all the way around this is going to follow so make sure you be careful with that because it is attached by a little little tab uh, so you want to be careful with that you do get rotation at the bottom of the bicep right there single hinge elbow joints pinless uh, so you only get 90 degree angle you do get rotation at the wrist right there as well as in and out hinging and uh, up and down hinging for trigger finger hand right down up looking at his ab rotation you do get rotation at the top right there uh, no real ab rotation at the bottom he crunches down not too far forward just slightly and uh, crunches back basically just standing up or just slightly whoops sorry slightly pushed back so looking at his leg articulation he can almost join cheerleading camp and do the splits uh, he does come with single hinge knee joints so he only goes to 90 degrees right there you do get a nice hidden swivel joint right there at the top of the joint uh, at the top of the thigh uh, no swivel at the knee surprisingly uh, that's a big surprise in my opinion uh, his ankles do go all the way down to there up that far and ball hinge uh, pin joint right there so i'm really surprised that his knee doesn't uh, swivel but uh so far the way i've posed him and used him in pictures and whatnot uh it really hasn't come into play like it hasn't really like been an issue in my opinion uh same with the elbows even though they only go 90 degrees it wasn't really an issue in posing him in toy photography so he does pose really well despite those slight uh hinders and cons that he comes with but before we go into picks and everything guys i do want to show you what he looks like compared to the other members of the bat batch so we'll be right back 
Alright guys, so here is Wrecker next to the two other Bad Batch figures that we do have out. And technically we do have three with Echo being out as the Target exclusive Clone Wars figure. But he is in his Arc Trooper outfit and not his Bad Batch outfit. So uh, I don't really consider him part of this lineup right now. But we should be getting tech anytime soon uh they've already been popping up in walmarts and all sorts of places like that so keep your eye out for the latest wave because tech is in it and if you're trying to complete the bad batch i definitely recommend it because as you can see already just the three of them look amazing together i cannot wait to see what the four of them look like together and eventually i'm sure we will get a bad batch version of echo so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics i took of wrecker and we'll be right back Alright guys, thanks so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at CoolFigures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more planned out, thought out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by CoolFigures. So go ahead and check that out and leave me a follow there if you like what you see. I am also on TikTok at CoolFigures where I do all my unboxing guys because I am like a kid when I get new toys and I cannot wait to unbox them and play with them. So I don't wait to set up my YouTube studio and uh, film and unboxing so all my unboxings are on my tiktok at cool figures follow me there if you're on that uh, media platform but with that being said guys if you did enjoy this video or any of my other ones please remember to give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys but whether or not you're a subscriber thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys i really do appreciate it as always i'm your host jesse the bat Magirol, aka the buff collector and i'll talk to you guys in the next video